All right, folks, it's uh, Thursday evening. It's going on about 6.30 p.m. It's still early, but it's break time. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I got better words for that, but that's the word I'm going to use. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I know, this seems like a joke, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's where we're at. Ugh. Steady by what do they say? Yep. All right. Well, it's that time of year. Uh, actually, that's a crying. That's a crying joke. It's not that time of year. Uh, firewood is uh, supposed to be. It is that time of year for running chainsaws and being in the woods and stuff like that. That's real nice. But it's not that time of year to be doing your firewood. Um, it's year to prep it, get it to the house or in the basement or in your uh, storage shed or whatever, whatever your business. It's definitely not the year, time of the year to be cutting and splitting your wood. I said on a, on a past video how I, I failed tremendously bad uh, this past winter and into spring in um, getting my firewood done. Uh, I didn't get any of it done. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. Um, so, therefore, I ended up having to... Uh... <laughs> Alright, let me put things in perspective here for a minute. This is a 60-acre hardwoods. Um, yeah, 60-acre hardwoods full of maple and beech. And I ended up having to uh, truck in... 10 cords of wood. What are you going to do? Uh, I paid dearly for this, I'll be honest with you, but it's supply and demand. Uh, the good news is, is that wood has been sitting since December. It was cut off of a job in December and sitting in a, uh, in a log yard, uh, waiting to be sold to uh, fools like me that failed in cutting their firewood. So it's, it's basically, uh, I'm not going to call it seasoned wood. As far as I'm concerned, seasoned wood is cut and split. Um, now, I'll tell you right now, it's, it's, it's dry. It's nice and dry, but not dry enough. It needs to, wood needs to be cut and split. So anyway, that's what I'm doing, folks. Uh, my normal practice is... In the evenings, time permitting, I'll usually leave the farm or the house on the ranger with a, uh, a full tank of gas and the chainsaw. Um, I'm a Husqvarna fan. Um, I got a John Sered too, and a Sax Dalmar. Um, but uh, I'll leave with a full tank of gas and uh, cut cut till the tank is gone. Now, if it's still earlier enough in the evening, I'll bring the I'll bring the gas can with me. But uh, like last night, for example, I came out here, full tank, cast, full tank of gas and maybe even a couple of uh, Diet Cokes and uh, cut away nice and simply. Tonight, no chainsaw. Didn't bring the chainsaw with me. Tonight is all about uh, splitting and stacking what I cut last night. Uh, splitter. I'm really happy with this splitter. I'm not happy with the last person that used it and didn't cover up the engine down the road, which I, I better stop talking about right now. Uh, that, that come from Tractor Supply, Husky brand, which I believe now is all, uh, I, what is it, country line now? Folks, I got to be honest with you right now, that has been a terrific wood splitter. Um, of course, it's got the Honda engine on it. Now, me personally, I'm, a, I'm an American man. I'm American products. I'll take a Kohler or a Briggs any day, but uh, come with the Honda, and it's always fair. Very strong. Uh, I'm very happy with this wood splitter. Highly recommend it to anybody that's looking. I can only assume that uh, when it changed to country line, nothing changed. That's an, uh, that's an assumption. And uh, priced fairly decent, too. I got this a few years ago. And uh, it's done a hell of a job, very good job. So, yeah, I got a long ways to go here. Uh, that pile sitting behind me, uh, 
go ahead and laugh with me, that's fine. But uh, I tell you what, you do something like this three nights a week, four if you can sneak it in there, and then a, uh, uh, a butt busting Saturday afternoon, before you know it, you got a lot of wood stacked. Um, you know, I do it every year uh, since I was a kid and about 100 years before that. But uh, the nicest thing is having a couple of buddies and going and getting a 30-pack of beer and getting some help on a Saturday or Sunday. <clears throat> but uh, you can get a lot of stuff done. That's about it, folks. Just giving you kind of a little tour here. What I got going. There's nothing else really to do this evening. Um, actually, there is nothing to do this evening. Uh, if I didn't get all that plowing done this uh this morning I was finished by noon it's perfect timing um, otherwise I'd have been plowing uh, this evening it was a little greasy out this morning but I made do had to feather the hydraulics quite a bit but um, <clears throat> that's all right yeah there's really nothing else to do here folks so uh, it's a uh, it's kind of a beautiful night evening here to uh, split and stack a little bit of wood folks that's all I have from last year that is it. Uh, timed out uh, pretty darn good. Of course, that was cut two years ago, and I burned it all this past winter. That's all that's left. But, uh, yeah, long ways to go. I try the best I can to predominantly burn wood for home heat. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's because it's free. It ain't free, especially this year. Let's forget about the fact that I had to buy, had to buy all that wood. Um, you know, your time's worth a little bit. You know, you're giving Saturdays up. Actually, my time isn't worth a damn thing. <clears throat> I take that back. Um, but you know, between chainsaws, good chainsaws gonna run you bare minimum seven hundred bucks. Uh, you want to play it on the safe side? It better be about nine hundred to a thousand dollars if you use it a lot. I'm not saying the more you spend, the better it is. I don't believe in that crap, okay? But, um, you know, if you're doing a quite a bit of cutting and you're dependent on it, um, I'm a Husqvarna fan. Always have been. I always will be. Um, unless they start making them a little more cheaper, which uh, I'm going to stop there. But, um, yeah. That's it. So breaks over. Give you a little look see of what I got going. That stuff behind me, that's some that's some nasty pine. That's it's not worth a darn thing. Um thought I'd cut it up though. Uh that's camp behind me. <clears throat> um it's that time of year too where things are things are hopping a little bit. People are getting ready for hunting season. In fact, it's full-fledged bow season right now. It's only four days into bow season. Um, not a lot of action around here for bow season this year that I'm seeing, um, and especially us. <clears throat> things are just things are just so busy right now. Everybody is extremely busy. If you work for a living and give a damn for a living, you are busy. Uh, it seems like you have to uh, work double time just to keep up with life's normalcies these days. I could go into that a lot further, but I'm not going to. But, um, yeah, hunting camps are opening up. People are cutting wood. They're hauling wood inside, getting ready for hunting season, which is November 15th here, <clears throat> opening day of rifle season. And, in fact, there's uh, some friends of the family coming up this weekend to uh, open up their camp, get things ready, you know, sweep up the cobwebs and all that stuff. So it's just that time of year, folks. It's October. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite months really is september october november but uh all right i'm tired of staring at this wood pile it's pretty pathetic i need to uh try and double that here this evening so i can go to bed kind of feeling like a man so anyway folks thanks for checking in uh hope all is well and uh stay tuned for uh some more videos to come uh preferably or most importantly uh a corn silage video uh, not harvesting it, not yet, but uh, feeding it out to the beef. If you've seen the video before this, you'll know that we started the process. So anyway, folks, have a good night. I got to get going. Talk to you sooner or later.